Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabushai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahabushai, who we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of the Wimstone that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few brothers and sisters listening and learning okay and those of you that are given all diligence to make your calling and election sure so we're going to start off from Matthew's 10 when we're out here when we're out on the highways and byways I don't really write nothing down more so I write things down when I'm doing my sit down lessons but when we're on the highways and byways we just fully depend on the Holy Spirit so Lord willing this will be edifying and we're going to start off on Matthew's 10 this is Matthew's 10 and when he had called unto him his 12 disciples okay disciples they were being built up that's why they were called disciples okay he gave them power over unclean spirits okay so the elect they have power over these unclean spirits these filthy spirits that are on men that are hiding in men okay to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses this is what, this is what Yahweh was doing he was healing all different manner of sicknesses cerebral palsy lame hands dumbness deafness this is what Yahweh was doing why because he had the power to do these things okay and all manner of diseases so all manner of sicknesses were being healed through Yahweh Shai through his power okay then we just a minute okay so this is what Yahweh Shai was doing healing okay now the names of the 12 apostles which, which were sent out are these first Simon who is called Peter okay and Andrew his brother which before they came to the truth they were fishermen which is a very 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 lucrative trade James the son of Zebedee and John his brother Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew the publican, James the son of Alphaeus, Lebius, whose surname was Tadalius, if I'm saying it right, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him, that was replaced, okay, Judas Iscariot was replaced. These 12, Yahabashai sent forth and commanded them saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles. And what, when he's saying Gentiles, he's speaking about the other nations. He's saying don't go to them. And into any city of the Samaritans, he enter not. Why was it saying that? Because the Samaritans, they were not Israelites, they were heathens. That's why Yahweh said that. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This way commanded, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? And why does it say lost? Because our people, they're in a lost condition. That's why it says to the lost sheep of Israel. So that, that gives it away, our people are lost. They don't know who they are. That's why it says to the lost sheep of Israel, not to the Samaritans. But guess what? You had Samaritan, you had Israelites that were in that region of Samaritan. That were Israelites. We're gonna to go to that example of John, the Samaritan woman. Quickly go to that John. Man. 
burn me just a minute. Patience is a virtue. Because the scripture says, with all that getting, with all that wisdom, get understanding. Let's quickly go to John. We're going to start from John, the fourth chapter. This is John 4. Okay. And let's go straight to um, 4. And he must needs go to Samaria. So again, Samaria, what does Samaria mean? Samaria means land on the city or on the hill, if I'm correct. Land on the city. Or so like a city on the hill. Okay. When he must go through Samaria, that cometh to he to a city of Samarita, Samaria. Which is called Sakar. Near to the parcel of the ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. So this has always been our, what, our possession. This is what Jacob gave to Joseph as a possession. Now Jacob's well was there. And what's a well what you drink out of? So Jacob's well, it was already there. Okay. With his journey, thus he sat on the well. And what does the well do? It's where you gather water out of. And you understand? And it was about the sixth hour. Okay, the sixth hour. Where cometh a woman of Samaria, which was a heathen, to draw water? Yahweh shall say unto her, Give me to drink. Okay, and this woman, she didn't have, she didn't have any manners. Okay, give me to drink. And you don't speak to no, no, no woman speaks to a man like that. Give me to drink. Okay. Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him. How is it thou? Being a Jew, ask if drink of me. Why was the Samaritan woman saying that? Because they knew. The Jews never had no dealings with the heathens. They were always separate which I am a woman of Samaria for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans she, she even knew that she knew it okay that the Israelites they had no dealings with the other nations verse 10 Yahweh shall answer and said unto her if thou knewest the gift of the Most High Okay, if thou knew it's the gift of the Most High, and that gift was Yahabashai, that gift was Yahabashai, and that gift is the Holy Spirit as well. If thou knew the gift of the Most High, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou would have asked of him. So you would have asked a long time ago. If you knew who Yahabashai was, if you knew he was asking you, you would have given. Okay, you would already, you, you already, you would have done the deed because you, you would have acknowledged who was it, who it was coming to you. Okay, and he would have given the living water. So what's that living water? The scriptures, the words, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the scriptures. This is the living water. Okay, not the physical. The woman saith unto him, Sir, that has nothing to draw with. And the well is deep. She was, see again, she wasn't being spiritual, she was being carnal. She thought he was talking about the physical water. From whence then hast thou living water? And she was asking him, so what, what are you talking about? But she couldn't clock on. Art thou greater than our father Jacob? Okay, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle. But she, so that means she was raised up to believe that 
she was a descendant of, <laughs> you know, the Israelites when she wasn't. Okay, and she wasn't given that land, she was put in that land during what? During Ho the time of Hosea, when the children of Israel, the northern tribes, were taken out of that land. Okay? She was not an Israelite. She was a heathen. Okay? Yahusha answered and said unto her, Whosoever drink of this water shall never thirst again. So if you drink of this water, this living water, you're never going to be thirsty. Because this is what sustains us. This is the true living water. Okay? That Yahweh share is given to those that believe. Okay? And shall never thirst again. And that's a beautiful thing. Just, just knowing that. You're never going to thirst again. Oh man. Verse 14. But whosoever drink of this water, I shall give him, shall never thirst. But the water, what I shall give him, shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So this water that Yahweh gives us, it's going to be everlasting, springing up into everlasting life. Just like when you have a fountain, that fountain is continually gushing, springing out new waters. Just like when you have a river, it's springing out new waters continually. That's how this word is, same way. Okay, not stagnant, always abundant. That's how this word is. That's why you never get bored. You never get bored. You will always be growing. Why? Because you're in Yahweh Shai. You're in this word. You're in this living ab abundance of rivers of living water. So there'll never be you'll never be short of a topic. Because Yahweh Shai has given you that rivers of living water. You'll never be short of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You understand what I'm saying? Verse 15, the woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water. So she, guess what? She wanted this water. Okay. She wanted this, she wanted to know, what's this water you're talking about? Okay. You know, show it to me. Okay. And we're going to further expound. But the water I shall give him, shall... <laughs> Just a minute. Verse 15. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water, not I first not, neither come here but to draw. So she said, You know what? Don't, don't, don't come next to me, but give me this water. And she was very rude, she was very disrespectful in her goings, also. Okay? Verse 16. Your house shall say unto her, Go call that husband. Because guess what? Again, Yahushua had high levels of discernment. So that's what Yahushua said. Go call that husband. Bring your husband. Okay. In that, bear me just a minute. For that has five husbands. See, Yahushua, he could read the minds of people. He said, you have, you have five husbands. <laughs> five. Okay, so she was what? She was, um... She was a whore. She got around a lot. Okay. She was a dirty whore. Okay. And, and, and these women as well, these women, these women, these women know the truth. Somewhat of the truth. Because when they, when they, you had a woman that was just riding past. She had her head down. A lot of these women know their whores as well. The most of them. Okay. So let's go back to where we were, Salakia. But I has five husbands. And he whom thou now has is not thy husband. So you have a shot, he was able to read mine. Okay? So that first man, because really your husband is the first man you lay down with. That's your husband. Okay, but you have a shot, I said, that has, that's, that has five husbands. So again, she was a whore. Because the first man you lay down with, that's your husband. Okay, so she got around. Okay. And he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. And that sellest thou truly. The woman saith unto him, Sir, 
I perceive in that saidest thou truly, the woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that art a prophet. Why did she say that? Because Yahweh was able to read minds. He knew she got around. That's high levels of spiritual discernment. <laughs> okay. Yahweh could read minds. He could see through your spirit. That's that spiritual power. Okay. And that's what we've got. You know, not, not so much, not on that high level as Yahweh had, but similar. Okay. The men of the Lord, we can read spirits also. Okay. We can read them spirits. Okay. We can sense spirits. We can sense if someone's sincere, if they're not sincere. We can sense if someone's angry, if they're not angry. Okay? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh man. Hey, it's a spirit. Our fathers worship in this mountain. And you say that in Jerusalem, in this place, seriously, where men ought to worship. Okay? See, again, the spirits are subject to us. The spirits are subject to us. You see how you see how things play out in the spirit. You can't make this up. Okay. You can't make this up. So she says, in this mountain, our fathers worshipped in this mountain, because she was a Samaritan, but she was not an Israelite. So she said, our fathers worshipped in this mountain, in this place. Okay, the the mountain of Samaria, the city of Samaria. Okay. Right in Jerusalem is this place where men ought to worship. But guess what? She was put in that region during what? The time of Hosea. We can go into that as well. See, now we're on this topic. Yahweh Shai said to her, Woman. Okay, and that's even speaking with authority. Woman. Because that's what she was. She was just a woman. Okay, she ain't nothing special. See, this society tells, it teaches you to esteem these women. Well, a woman ain't nothing special in this kingdom. She ain't nothing special. But that's what this queen them uh, 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 pushes out. Okay? Let's go. Yahweh shall say to woman, believe me, in the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Okay? So he was putting it straight to her. Not in this mountain, nor the kingdom to come. Why are you going to be worshipping the Father? Okay? Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, so Yahweh was telling this woman, the Samaritan, you don't even know what you worship. In other words, you're just, you're blind. Excuse me. In other words, you're blind. Okay, you, you, don't, you don't have a clue. Okay, you don't know what you worship. Okay, you worship, you know what? Not what we know what we worship, and that also goes to those that are in the Christian churches, these other nations that call themselves believing in Jesus. They don't know what they worship. They're lost. Okay. Salvation is just for the 12 tribes of Israel. It's not for all nations. For salvation. For salvation is of the Jews. Salvation only belongs to the Jews. The Israelites. And the Jews were classed as, um, what is it? Judah, Benjamin and Levi. But the Romans, they were looking at every, they were looking at all of Israel like they're just Jews. They were, they were classifying all Israel as they're just Jews. Okay, but now the Jews are free. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Now the Jews are, the Jews are one tribe. Okay, Judah. But you have the Jews that are scattered amongst what Benjamin and Levi, and even amongst the other nations, were scattered. You even got Jews that are in Brazil. So you may be looking at a guy like he's an Asherite, but that guy might be a Judite. You understand what I'm saying? From the tribe of Judah. You understand? 
We worship, you know not what we work, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. And the hour coming, and now is right now, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. So you have a shall praise those to worship him in truth. Not lies, you can't, that's the thing, you can't call yourself being a man of truth or any substance, but when the truth comes out, you're not really about the truth. You understand what I'm saying? He requires those to worship him in truth, not lies. So, so that goes into, um, that goes into the Samaritan woman, okay? And that's why he said, go not into the way of the Samaritans. But she was a what? A Samaritan. But guess what? We're going to read on further. The woman said unto him, I know that the Messiah is coming, which is called the Mashiach. Why? Because it's written in the Old Testament. When he cometh, he would tell us all things. She was still being simple. Okay. Yahusha said unto her, I that speak unto thee, and he, Yahusha was saying, I am he that is speaking to, right, to you right now, live and direct. Okay. And upon this came his disciples marveled that he talked with the woman. Why were they marveling? Because just as the scripture says, go not into the ways of the Samaritans. So the disciples were like, they were looking at him, hold on, why is he speaking to this heathen? Why is he why is he speaking to her? Okay. And Baby, just a minute. And yet no man said, what seekest thou? Or why thou talkest to her? Because there was a lot of the times when the disciples, they were scared. They were worried to ask Yahabashah some questions. That shows you how we're scared Yahabashah is. And that's why, yeah, the scriptures say, mark the perfect man. So the perfect man is Yahabashah. So if Yahabashah is austere, we're supposed to be austere. We're supposed to be that way. You understand what I'm saying? Not the other way around. Because men are teaching this truth in a in a, tim a timid, weak, effeminate spirit, you know? We ain't supposed to be teaching in that spirit, okay? See, what else we can find? Bear me just a minute. And here can't the star was lost. Okay? What does that mean? We need to be alert. He can't stand muscus. Okay? He can't stand muscus. What's that? That's that's Columbia. Okay? We need to be alert. Okay? What's about to happen? There's a lot of things that are about to happen. And I'm trying to learn that as well. Speaking in tongues. I'm trying to learn um Colombian, what they call it, Spanish. Spanish Colombian. Because the Colombians, what are they speaking? Spanish. So I'm learning a bit of Spanish. <laughs> okay. Ke keba. Keba. Okay. Learning that Spanish. Okay. I'm gonna learn that Spanish. Maybe just a minute. Because a lot of, especially the northern tribes, they're all about, what's it? Plata. It's not all about the plata. Okay, what's another word for plata? Money. Okay. You so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Indianos, come back to your nationality. Okay, you Colombians, you Indianos. Okay. Come back to your nationality. Okay. I'm going to say that again. It's that, it's that, it's that, Okay. I'm learning it. I'm learning that um, Spanish, man. But it's beautiful. You should always be wanting to learn in this truth. You know, Lord when I get it down packed, I want to get to the point where I learn it fluently. Okay? Right now, obviously we deal with the Hebrew. We've got to learn the Hebrew, but obviously we're going to learn different languages because the prophets, they were talented in all, all different matters. 
That's why when you had Daniel, Abednego, and Shadrach, they they were set over the kingdoms. Why? Because they had they were yeah they were prophets, but they were talented and they had gifts, different gifts. Okay, so you have men in this truth that are be electricians that know how to wire up a whole house. They'd be talented, they have different gifts. Okay? Our people are talented. Yeah, we're prophets, but we also do different things. We also have different gifts. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Let's go back to where we were. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm brushing up on that Spanish. Okay? This truth is about growing, learning. So where was I? Bear me just a minute. I was on that Samaritan woman. Bear me just a minute. I lost my train of thought. The Samaritan woman. You know what? We're done with that. But the Samaritan woman, what happened? The disciples were marveling. Okay. But yeah, I wish I was letting her know. And further on, it tells you that um, she went and brought others and those that she brought, why did she bring others to listen to Yahweh Shai? Because those were Israelites, you had Israelites in Samaritan, so the land of Samaria. So left there. Bear me just a minute. That's why you need to go into the history also. Very important to get into history. But that's not what's going to get you saved. <laughs> it's your faith, but it's important so you know what was happening. Because a lot of individuals think that the history is going to get them saved. And the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Why? Because you, you, what, you trust it, you have faith in the wisdom. Because if you don't have faith in the wisdom that you were given, then you're not going to be stable. Okay? Let's go to 2nd Ezra's... No, not 2nd Ezra, what am I talking about? My mind's uh, jumping everywhere right now. Let's see if we can get 2nd Kings. Let's see if we can find it. Bear me just a minute. Patience is a virtue. Where was it, where was it, where was it, where was it? 2nd! Corinthians, we found it, and 23. So, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he said, by all his servants, the prophets. So Israel, so Israel, so was Israel carried away, okay, out of their land to Assyria unto this day. So they were moved out into Assyria. And what's modern day Assyria? Iraq. Okay. To this stay. So our people, they, we, have, we, we still have remnants of our people in Assyria. We have a remnant of our people in, in Iraq. Some call it Mesopotamia. Our people are there. Okay. Scattered. Verse 24. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, okay, Cushites, okay, Ethiopians, and from Kuta, these are the regions of Ham, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Savavium, okay, and placed them in the cities of Samaria. So that's why the woman thought she was what? That's why she thought she was an Israelite, because she was put in there by what? by the king, what's it, Asha, Ashahadan and Sargon, okay, instead of the children of Israel, and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof, so they were dwelling in that region, so over time, they're going to be taught the customs, and we're going to go into it, and these were the northern tribes that were moved out, okay, it's the northern tribes that are moved out of that region, and what, went into captivity, what, into Assyria, moved out of Samaria okay verse 25 and so it was the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord 
So these other nations, they fared not the Lord. Okay. Therefore, the Most High Yahweh set lions among them, which slew them, which slew some of them, the lions were eating them up. Okay. The lions were eating them up. Okay. That slew them. Why? Because they were not keeping the laws of the land, and that was a very serious thing. So what they were getting at. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed, thou placed in the cities of Samaria. Know not the manner of the Most High. So what's the manner? The laws. So they didn't, they didn't know the laws. Okay, of the cities. Okay. And Jesus is Blanco. Jesus is Negro, not Blanco. Okay, El Diablo. You are Colombians, uh, Inca. Yeah? So again, they didn't know the manner of the land. So what happened? They were getting jacked up. They were getting ate by what? These different animals. Okay? This, this is what was happening. Okay? Okay? Let me, bear me just a minute. Pare, bala, ke. Let us know, hablando. Pare, bala, ke. Let us know, hablando. Okay? Pay attention. That's what that means in the Spanish. I'm still, I'm trying to brush up on the Spanish as well. Okay? I'm too near you, I'm too near, I'm too near you not to, for you not to hear. Okay? There's a whole lot of Colombians in this, in this region, a whole lot of northern tribes, okay, and their women are as bro, bro, the Colombian women are fine as hell. See, there's many different women of the tribes. You got twelve tribes, so it's not just about the the, the women of Judah. There's twelve different tribes. You got the Colombians, okay. You got you got who else? You got the Dominicans, okay. You got their so-called Haitians, which these are all bywords, but they're all our people, okay? They are our people. That's what we're here to do, okay? To gather our tribes. But you know one thing about, no one thing I notice about the Northern tribes, especially about their women. They want to babysit for Esau. That's one thing I notice, especially in Brixton, when you go to Stockwell. The Colombians, they, they like to be good babysitters for what? Esau, okay, they like to cater to Esau, but they're gonna come out of that very soon because they see, ah, nah, you know, they see, um, what did they call it, Moreno, no, Moreno, you know, but they're gonna, they're gonna realize, Moreno, yeah, that's where it's at. Yahusha was a dark skinned man, okay, let's go back to where we were, <laughs> bear me just a minute, uh, second, um, King 17. They moved them out, and that's why the lions were jack eating them up, jacking them up, because they were not keeping the manners of the region they were in. So when they were they were getting eat, okay. Verse twenty-seven. Then the king of what Assyria commanded, saying, "Carry them for one of the priests." And let them go and dwell there, okay? And let him teach the manner of the most high of the land. So again, they hired priests which were evil at okay? They had to teach what the Samaritans, the laws. So they actually had to take an, an Israelite that was in captivity and bring him what into that land of Samaria to teach the manner of the customs to the heathens so they weren't getting killed. That's how serious it was. Okay. Where was we? Verse 28. And one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in Bethel and taught them how they should fare the Lord Jabashai. So the heathens they were taught. They were taught the manner. And 
my brothers going to be in the kingdom. In the kingdom, we're going to teach you nations how to live in the kingdom. And you're not going to have no choice. Because if, if, you don't, if you don't submit to the laws, then what? We're going to execute them judgments upon you if you don't submit. Why? Because the scriptures say so. Verse 29, now we're done with that, we're done with that. Okay, this expounds on the Samaritans. So this is a brief history of who the Samaritans were. Okay, and Jesus is Blanco. Jesus is making a Blanco. Okay. So this gives you a sign of who the Samaritans were. The Samaritans were heathens. The Samaritans were not part of the fold. They were not Israelites. They were being taught the customs of the land because they were getting jacked up. So we had to teach them the laws. And that's how it's going to be in our kingdom. Okay? So now we're done with that. Let's go into who salvation's for. We're going to go into who salvation is for. Because he came for a nation. One particular nation. And it's a vast topic. Let's go to... Ah! Beautiful. Have I got the apocrypha? Yeah. Let's grab... I think it's second... Where is it? Where is it? Second Ezra 6 and 54. Let's go to that. Come on now. Second Ezra 6 and 54. Because all nations created, but we're not all equal. Oh man, it's missing. I need to get a new apocrypha. I think it's is it missing. Then just a minute. Yep. Let's go to second Ezra's. Yeah, the pages are missing. Ah, no, it's still there. It's still intact. This is second Ezra 6. Okay. Let's get straight to it. And start at 54. So we're going to start at verse 54. And after these, Adam, who made us our lords over all that creatures. So when it said Adam, who made us our lords of all that creatures, what does that mean? Let's go back to Yahweh Shai. He's not of a what creation. That's speaking of Yabashai. He's Adam. And that word creature, where does it come from? Creation. So Yabashai is not of a what creation. And Jesus is Negro, not Blanco. Okay? So Yabashai is not of a what creation? Of him coming all. So we all come from Adam. That's right. We all come from Yahweh Okay? Of him coming all, because that's people's argument that but we all come from Adam. Yeah, which is true. We come from Adam. Oh, and the people also whom thou has chosen. So there was a chosen remnant that came out of Adam. A remnant. A chosen nation that came out of Adam. Have I spoken before the O Lord Yahweh Shai? It's like you, you had the sons of God, you had the sons of men, and you had the sons of the wicked. So the sons of God, they were Israelites, and it was a group, it was a nation. And what, get, get up, guess what else you had? The sons of men that represent the other nations, and also. You had the sons of the wicked. 
which came and then it, so you always had what? Nations. Okay? All, the, all this have I spoken before thee. Oh Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because God made the world for our sakes. For this world, it was made for the sakes of Israel. The world was made for our sakes. Not for the other nations. The other nations were created to serve you. You understand what I'm saying? Not the other way round. So when you see a Moabite, a Cushite, an Ammonite, an Edomite, an Amalekite, they were made to serve you. Not the other way round. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. So hold on a minute. You've got another people that come of Adam. Remember the sons of men and the sons of the wicked. Thou hast said that they are nothing. So the other nations, they're lacking unto nothing. So that's an insult. Okay. The other nations, they're lacking unto nothing. Nobody's. Okay. But be like unto spittle. To the other nations, they're lacking unto what? Spittle. Okay? Spit. You spit on the ground. That's how these other nations are lacking unto. Not about spittle. You understand? And I was lacking unto the abundance of them that drop it from a vessel. So if you have if you're holding a vessel of water or any type of liquid and it falls this is how these other nations are lacking unto okay let me check the time this is how these other nations are likened okay it's not me saying it, it's the scriptures okay and Jesus is negro the blanco there's the scripture saying this okay you understand And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathens which have ever been reputed as nothing. So they've always been as nothing. The other nations have always been seen as nothing. Nobody. Have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So why did these other nations devour us? Why? Because we went off. So that shows when we go off, the other nations reign over us and that's why the other nations knew if they can get you to go off they can get you back into captivity they knew okay so again that shows all these other nations they're nothing let's go to Deuteronomy 32 excuse me okay Deuteronomy 32 Go straight to Deuteronomy 32 and 7. It says, remember the days of old. So this is what we're supposed to be pondering upon. Remember, read. Okay? Read. Which means what? Back. Okay? Remember, remember. So read, members from your members, we're remembering. Okay. The days of old. Consider the years 
of many generations. Ask thy father, which is the scriptures. The scriptures are our father. Okay. And he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. Because we've got elders that will teach us the scriptures the right way. The right way. And you understand what I'm saying? When the Most High divided the inheritance, so the Most High always divided different nations, their inheritance. Okay? When he separated the sons of Adam, so every nation has an inheritance. Esau, he had what? South of Judah. Moab had, they had their own plans in the land, their own um, lot in the land of Israel. Because if you think Moabites, you think China. No, China, that's not their region. Moab actually had a lot in, in Israel. Look at the map of, look at the map of Israel. Okay, it's like it, just seeds falling off these trees. Okay. So all these nations, they had a land, they had a plot of land. Okay. When he separated the sons of Adam. So again, the Lord deals with division. Okay. The sons of Adam, they were all, they were separated. Okay. He set the bounds, so every nation was given bounds. You understand? Of the people, according to their what? The children of Israel. Okay? So every nation is what given bounds and a measure. Okay? Was given a land according to the children of Israel because the children of Israel come first they're the first priority they're beloved you understand? verse 9 for the Lord Jehovah's portion is his people see Jehovah's he has a people he has a nation that are loved And Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So that we just went into now. The Samaritan. Okay, why he told us not to go into the land of Samaritan. Okay. We touched on the sons of Adam. There were three sons. Not three sons. There were three what? Tribes that come, came out of Adam. We, we, we explained all these things. Okay. Now we're going to go into who's the Lord's favourite people? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. That's what we're going to go into. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. To expound on who Yahushai came for. He has a special people. Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. These are the bread and butter scriptures. Now, okay, these are the true bread and butter scriptures. Okay, go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, but don't have the holy people, so the scriptures are saying, you so called Negroes, Hispanics and Indianos of Inca, Mayan descent, are a special people okay the scriptures are saying that why is it why is it when you tell our people that they're special they don't want to know why is it because they don't have a kingdom mentality how it is if you're if the scriptures are telling you you're special why would you settle for less huh why would you settle for less? As the Lord Yahushai had power, the Lord Yahushai 
Thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. So it says he's chosen you. And even for the nation of Israel, there's an elect. Within the nation of Israel, within the elect. Because you've got the nation of Israel, then you have an elect within the nation of Israel. He's chosen thee to be a special people. Okay? So if you're special, you're better than the rest of these nations. Okay? Verse 7. The Lord Jehovah Shai did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you are more in number than any people. I had nothing to do with the numbers because we came into Egypt what 70 what 70 souls it's like yo, did we leave Egypt did we come into Egypt or we left Egypt 70 yeah 70 souls but we multiplied okay correct me if I'm wrong okay for you were the fewest of all people but because the Lord loved you so it's letting us know is because he loved you. So yes, Yahushai, he has a great care for his people. He has a great love for his people. Okay? They're close to him. Okay, bear me just a minute. So where do the other nations come into play? Huh? Well it is, the other nations, they're nothing. Okay? The other nations are nothing but spittle. Okay? But because the Lord Jehovah shall love you, and because he will keep the oath, he had sworn to his fathers. And you notice how it says swarm. So, when it says swarm, swearing ain't saying fuck, shit. That's not swearing because men, they get emotional. They come into the truth and they get emotional. I don't like the way he says it. It's about the message. And that's not swearing. Swearing is to keep an oath. That's what it means to swear. But if you're a nincompoop and you don't look up words, then guess what? You're not gonna you're gonna be getting offended. We just sworn unto your fathers, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty with a mighty ham. So guess what? We cannot forget that you have a shy. We cannot forget that you have a shy brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Okay? The land of what? Mizraim. With a mighty hand. So that's what part of the miracles we remember. Okay? That's what he done for us. Okay? And we can't forget that. Okay? With a mighty hand. And a hand represents strength. And redeemed you out of the hands, the house of bondmen. From the hand of Pharaoh, king, um, king of Egypt. Because we were in what, Egypt, slaves in Egypt. For what, four, 400 and... Just over 400 years, about 420. Because Abraham prophesied of that. He had a dream that we'd be in captivity under our presence. Okay? So 
You're special people. Don't let anybody tell you any different. But it's, again, now we come to the truth, now we know that, it's one thing knowing that, but now we've got to uphold that standard. You understand? We've got, we've got to live in that manner, in that walk of life. You understand? So now we went into that, let's go to so many scriptures on this topic. Let's go to Luke 1 and 68. Go to Luke 1 and 68. You know, before we go to Luke 1, 68, go to Matthew. This is Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son. So, who is that? Mary. It's going to be Mary that brings forth what a son. Okay, which one she conceived. And now shall I call his name. Right now, I'm just putting that out there for edification. It says Jesus, but his name ain't Jesus. His name is Yahabashai. And thou shalt bring forth a son, and his, ne his name shall be Yahabashai, which his name means deliverer. For he shall save his people from their sins. So it was said that Yahvashai is going to save his people from their sins. Okay? It was said. That's what it was going to do. So if his, if it says his people, 